Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no talk. I'm so sorry I fell off the face of the earth these past couple weeks. I, uh, I actually got the flu. I had to go to urgent care and everything. And it was really scary. Honestly, this flu was like way worse than COVID. Um, when I went to the emergency room, I actually fainted in the doctor's office. Like I lost consciousness for a bit and I, I just remember like going in, sitting down and she's, she was like, what's wrong? So I told her all my symptoms and then she was like, okay, what's your name? And I was like, I, I have no idea. I, I can't remember. So yeah. And then she was like, okay, well, I'm going to test you for the flu. So let me like swab your nose, how they do for like COVID as well. And then she left the room and my grandma was with me. And I remember like looking at my grandma and being like, something's not right. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. And then I just lost consciousness. And I woke up to the nurse laying me down and putting like a cold towel on my head. So yeah, it was brutal. I was bedridden for like a week and a half. And then Thanksgiving, I had hosted Thanksgiving at my house. So that was, uh, that was a lot of work as well. And I was just like starting to feel better. Oh my gosh. It's so funny. Like, I feel like every time I come on here, I'm always like, oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. But dude, I don't know. I guess it's just, it's just a really bad year for me. But yeah, I'm super stoked to film today. We're going to be doing Legacy because I miss it. I miss it so, so much. We have a lot to do. We have a baby to have. So let's just hop into it, shall we? I have a zero sugar Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. So good. I don't normally like Dr. Pepper, but this one I make an exception for because it's tasty. So cheers. Thank you for being with me here today. Let's get into it. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared. Um, my game had an update and I haven't turned on my computer in such a long time. Um, and I literally forgot how to play. So this should be a really fun episode. <laughs> oh my God. No. UI cheats. UI cheats is so broke. Ooh, that's really bad. Well, hopefully I can play. It just looks like it's the this corner over here. That's what's broken and that's fine. It shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Hold on, let me see. Okay, everything else seems fine. So let's see, what do we got? It is Christmas Eve, so tomorrow is Winterfest, right? That's weird. Why isn't Winterfest showing up on my calendar? Oh, you know why? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I extended my seasons, so it messed up all my holidays. So I'm gonna have to delete Win Winterfest Eve. Oh shoot, I just deleted Winterfest. No! Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I guess the last episode when we celebrated Winterfest Eve, that, that that's gonna be our Winterfest this year. <laughs> that's my bad. I meant to delete Winterfest Eve. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Anyway, so we have Eros's birthday in two days, which I'm really excited about. And then after that, we have Marielle's birthday. She's going to be an elder. <clears throat> She's a lot older than Sarah is, but that's okay. Yeah, so we got Eros, Marielle, Janelle, and then Sarah. So yeah, Sarah is currently preg pregnant. Um, she is in labor right now, I believe. Where's she at? Yeah, I think she's in question mark, question mark, question mark. She absolutely is. So she, she should be popping at any second. Um, I did read your guys' comments about the names and I narrowed it down to the three most popular ones um, with like the most likes and the ones that I liked the most as well. So let's go ahead and spin that wheel. Wait, hold on, not that one, let's do this one. Okay, so Valentino, Romeo, and Amor. I love those names, and um, there a lot of people suggested these, so let's spin and see what this new baby's name is gonna be. Romeo! I love it, I love it. I honestly think that's <laughs> very fitting. Oops. Especially for, you know, someone that's like obsessed with romance like Sarah is, it just makes sense. Okay, well, let's let's get it going. I'm so excited for her to have a baby. Yeah, this is her. Oh, that's really loud. What is this? I need your help to spread joy and cheer this holiday season. I received a special mission to discover the wonderful traditions that people around the world share with their loved ones. I thought you could lend me a hand. Try talking with others or cooking something unique to connect with these traditions. Warmest wishes, Jasmine Holiday. Okay, hang on one second. Let me turn down my game. Okay, so Eros is eating 
And then he should probably head to bed. Janelle, what are you doing? She's just using the pot. She should probably head to bed too. And then Ren. Yes, I remember now. Lilith passed away in the last episode. I think we can probably see how she passed through Ren's family tree. Let me see. Because she has a baby with Caleb. Come on. Wow. Cow plant. Lilith, are you serious right now? You let a cow plant get you? A badass vampire and you got you. I, I can't. I can't. She must have been like intoxicated or something because that's just wild to me. Um, okay. So we were working on Ren's romance and flower arranging skill. And then her aspiration, we need to make 46 more bottles of excellent wine. And we also need to sell nectar for her aspiration too. Okay, and then yeah, Sarah, uh, she's about to give birth. She's gonna go nap in this super cold tree house for some reason. Uh, oh, she's going to nap with Mario. That's actually really cute. Um, For her skills, we were working on logic and parenting. And for her aspiration, we just have to help a child with schoolwork for two more hours for this branch. I can't believe I deleted Winterfest off of the arrows. My guy, what happened? Okay, he's gonna go have a snack in his room and then I'm gonna make him go to bed. Is this charged? It is. Okay, yes, eat. Eat, 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 and then go to bed. Please, just, just go to bed. Oh man. So yeah, as I was sick, as I laid dying, I watched all of Stranger Things uh, again. I watched six seasons of Gossip Girl. <laughs> Is anyone else rewatching Gossip Girl right now? I watched it back when it like first came out. I loved it. I love that show. It's definitely like a guilty pleasure. So yeah, I just figured, oh my God, it has so many seasons. I'm gonna have so much stuff to watch. I might as well just rewatch it again. So I did and it was, it's, it's glorious. It's so, it's so, so cringe, but like I said, it's a, it's a guilty pleasure, a hundred percent. And the first time that I watched it, I remember like loving Serena. Um, but now that I'm rewatching it, I relate so much more to Blair. She's not the best person. Where the hell are you going? Who is this Athena person? <clears throat> Who is this? Why are you chatting with this thought? Not the thought in the winter snow. Oh girl. Anywho, you, you need to go to sleep as well. So, uh, yeah, by the time she wakes up, she should be in labor and then we can have this child. I can't believe we're gonna have another baby in the house. Oh God, where am I gonna put her? Him. Him, right? Yes. Where am I gonna put him? I really don't want Eros to have to share his room. Dang. Well, Eros is about to age up into a teen, so we could give him the guest house. This is just like a multi-purpose space that we have. It's honestly come really in handy, but yeah, I guess he can move out there and the baby can go in his old room. What are you up to out here? Why don't we do something productive? Um, let's work on our flower arranging. Also, I hear you guys. I hear you begging for uh, Caleb and Ren romance. And I agree. I do think that it's the perfect time for that to happen. But he's also mourning. So I'm not really trying to like, you know, do that right now. Maybe after a little bit. I'm going to sell all this wine. Holy crap, $68,000. I, I am shook. That is so much money. We only need 64, no, $42,000 more. We can probably sell the wine that's aging in the kitchen. We have a couple of bottles in here. Collect all. Close knit lifestyle. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, she got them all. Let's see how much these finely aged bottles are worth. I don't know you. 8,000, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000, 6,000, 3,000. 4,000, 35,000. I guess we can collect all of these two. And then, ooh, yeah, let's just sell all of them. To be honest, 28,000. Okay, so that's done. Make $100,000 selling nectar. What? Woo who with, woo who with, who, who is that? Who is that? Whose ghost is that? And why are you about to go woo who with them? Arm. Um, I don't see a ghost anywhere. Is that Edison? I think it is. Bruh, no, Ren, absolutely not. No. Why is this happening? Why is that happening? I really don't like that. Ugh. Jeez Louise. 
for Marielle's aspiration, she wants to go on two dates. I guess we can do that once. Once Sarah has her baby, she should be having it any moment. Oh, Janelle is awake. She's dancing to Christmas music. She's so cute. Well, I guess you can open a present if you want. I don't really mind. Since I accidentally deleted Christmas, why don't you grab one? Look at her sneaking presents. Oh, there is a sneak present interaction. I should have did that. One citrine. Yeah, let's do our homework and then she can start on this school project that she has too. Oh, Sarah's up. Wow, she's not in labor yet. Let's help her with our with her homework, Sarah. You need to do that. Aw, yibs. I'd love to do a maternity photo shoot, but... <laughs> I don't know if I have the patience for that right now. Oh my gosh. I wonder if helping with a project counts as helping with homework. It should. Oh, she's in labor. Thank God. This is so wholesome. Yay, that does count. Helping, helping with a project. Thank God. Okay. So level 10 parenting skill, go into full parent mode, have a child with three positive character value traits. All right, I can do that. Well, Sarah, let's uh, let's go to the hospital and have this baby. Guess let's bring Marielle, why not? Ren can watch the kids. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have three kids. Okay, so let's do this thing. I'm kind of just doing it for the, what the, where, where, what the, do you guys see this? It looks like I'm in tab mode, but I'm not. Oh no. Okay, thank God she's, how do I go home though after this? How do I? Okay, at least I can still take pictures. Oh my God. Yay. Imagine if the game was just like this without any interface really. And if you wanted the interface to pop up, you could just like press a button. Well, I guess that's technically tab mode, isn't it? Marielle, you can like come watch if you want. All right, so Romeo it is. Romeo Campos, I love it. Yay. A baby is born, a baby is born, a baby is born, baby is born. <laughs> okay, what is this? Center on current lot? No, I just, I want to go home. <sighs> UI Cheats hasn't had an update since November 1st. I checked before I... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna save and exit to the main menu because this is it's so broken oof okay i'm gonna have to restart my game i'll be right back all right guys we're back i had to take ui cheats out uh, and everything seems to be fixed now so where's the baby not in janelle's room okay i'm actually just gonna keep the baby down here just so that everyone can take care of him and he doesn't wake up uh, Sarah and Mario when they're trying to sleep. <clears throat> so let's just get our relationship with him up a little bit and get our parenting skill up too. Yes, and orb. Yes, and orb. So first it was the grim thing and now it's this thing that keeps popping up. <laughs> Holy crap. Why? Oh, you're going to work? Girl, you just had a... Wow, she, she looks great, even though she just had a baby. But I guess she's going to work. That's fine. Tell me you're an overachiever without telling me you're an overachiever. My goodness. I love stay at home, Marielle. She's the best. What's that? Thin festival. Do, 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 do. How come Mar Marielle can breastfeed? That doesn't make any sense, now does it? She's not the one that carried Eros. Uh, I mean, Romeo, oh my God. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. I apologize in advance. Okay, is it Eros' birthday yet? And it's the baby's birthday tomorrow too. <clears throat> I'm so excited to see Eros' teen form. Are you guys ready for that? Okay. I'm not. I'm actually, I am ready. I'm just, oh, he's just the next heir. And it's just, it's always, it's so exciting. But it's always a little nerve wracking to see their adult face come through, you know? Very exciting. It's all very exciting. <laughs> Hmm, of all the things to suffer from, a broken heart might be the worst. At least that's what today's client believes. They fear they are next, having a, lost a close friend to a broken heart. To escape this fate, they have started to completely cut themselves off from love. Encourage risks. So much for romance, the client expresses their confusion as they'd hope you would steer them down the opposite path. You are a romance consultant for Cupid's sake. Hmm, Sarah's all about grand romantic gestures. 
you don't like it, go find another one, another consultant. I'm gonna have her light the tree as well. I totally forgot to do that. Okay, success. It did not combust. All right, what skills are we working on for you? Painting, parenting, cross-stitch. All right, let's do some snowy painting, shall we? Ooh, maybe we should paint something snowy from reference. That'd be really pretty. What am I looking at? Oh yes, okay. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is abstract. Let's do that. I like it. It's very avant-garde. Um, the kids are back. Eros is now an A student and Janelle is a B student. Good job, y'all. I am so proud of you. Okay, girly pop, let's pee and then keep working on your, uh, your project. And then Eros, um, for your aspiration, you need to learn how to ride your bike. Your bike is up here for some reason. So let's bring it down here and practice riding bike. It's probably not the best weather to do it in, but hey, it is what it is. Oh no, not Arrow's freezing to death. Okay, pause, 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 pause. Hey honey, it's mom. When are you gonna come visit? Why don't you just come visit right now? Vicente Campos. I'm pretty sure he's family, so I don't think it's a good idea. The girl that asked is also family, so. We're getting really, uh, really far into all of the gens. So like family, family is like starting to date family now, which is not good. All right, let's put this project in your room. Good job on completing it. Janelle needs to reach level 10 social skill, so I'm gonna get her to come and uh, hang out on... Ooh, we need to... the computer is locked. I wonder, can Janelle talk to the baby? Oh, hey, hey mom. How are you doing? Thanks for coming by. Enthused about new sibling, how cute. So this is the woman that Marielle had Janelle with. It's such a warm and loving household. I love it. It's so different than Edison's gen. Definitely was not this joyful. All right, so she's still level nine. And Eros, how, how's it going? I wonder if Eros is gonna be able to learn how to write. What happened? What was that? Oh my God, that was so fast, Janelle. Good job. Good job. Become friends with two adults. Become friends with three children. Holy moly. I guess I'm just gonna get them to open presents here and there. It's winter. Winterfest can literally be any day. I don't really care. <laughs> Uh-oh, the baby, the baby. What did Mariel get? A carrot? <gasps> oh man. What did you get? An ottoman. Wow, that's a good gift. Ottomans are not cheap, my guy. They are not cheap. Why is there so much trash everywhere? Gosh darn, don't we have a maid? All right, Ren, let's go ahead and bake a cake. I think by when it turns midnight, I'm gonna age them up just because I'm so impatient and I can't wait. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. I don't think we're gonna be able to, we're not, we're not gonna be able to finish this aspiration for him. We were only, okay, we were able to do two, creative genius and artistic prodigy. Okay, cool. Why doesn't anyone wanna cook this cake? I swear, it's either my Sims are baking too many cakes or they just don't bake a cake at all. Like, come on. I don't have freaking time for this. I just bought a cake box, cause why not? Um, let's do, ooh, let's do a winter cake. Candles are on, so once it hits midnight, I'll age up arrows and I'll age up the baby and then we'll head into cast. Super cell, super cell, super, super, super cell. Oh, it's 1 a.m. All right, arrows, time to get up. It's time, it's time. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sneak taste? <gasps> Very tasty. All right. Make a wish, my boy. Happy birthday. Why do my sims always stink when they age up? Never freaking fails. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. I need to rem remind myself of the, of his, of their parent, of his parents' traits. Excuse me. Okay. Let me take a picture. Neat, adventurous, family oriented. Creative, dance machine, and paranoid. All right. Oh my gosh, and his aspiration. We do have to randomize. 
Okay. Ooh, random Wixer. That's what I typed. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? To, so I'm only using this for the aspiration, and then we have to use the legacy website to generate his traits. So, okay, aspiration. Here we go. Three, two, one. Max or mix Max or mixologist. Yep. Master mixologist. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, it kind of makes sense because he was creative growing up. And then his second traits. All right, let's go to the legacy website. Parent one, creative dance machine, paranoid. And then neat, adventurous, and family oriented. Okay. And his first trait was neat. So he inherited a trait from his dad already. So he'll either get a unique trait or he'll get one from Sarah, maybe. We'll see. All right, here we go. Second trait. It is dance machine. All right, so he's going to be quite the partier with the Master Mixologist aspiration and the dance machine trait. How interesting. These sims can't wait to get down, boogie, and party all night. When at venues like bars, nightclubs, and lounges, these sims can get a burst of energy with the party time interaction. Dance machines also receive a happy moodlet when arriving at social venues. Okay. And he got high self-esteem. Why the heck do you have romance? Child skill level two achieved because Eros got to skill level eight in the corresponding toddler skill. Romance? That's that's interesting, but okay. All right, don't look. Well, you, you can already see it, but uh, I'm gonna get someone to age up the babies well. What are you doing, stretching? Okay, let's age up. Romeo. 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 Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday from Applebee's to you. Wiggly. Oh, we wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Okay. Time to go into cast and have a look at these two boys. All right, Eros. Oh my gosh. He looks like such a little weeb. I can't. I can't. Oh, okay. He's quite handsome. I'll give him that. <clears throat> he looks like his dad for sure. Same body, face. Okay. Handsome. Very handsome. Whoa. Snatched. <laughs> Absolutely snatched. <laughs> oh my god. He has such strong features. Wow. Do we want to do Butterish or Cicada or... Oh, he looks like Handsome Squidward right here. Ooh, Marigold's pretty nice. Magnolia, Poppy, Lily, Freesia, Freesia, Lotus. Hmm. I like, I like Lotus. Lotus or Cicada. Freesia's nice too. Okay, let's do Lotus. Let's give him some lashes. Okay, and then Brows. Ooh, I like these Peachy Fairy ones. We can give him some stronger brows. I like these. They're kind of giving him like a sad boy vibe. Ooh, those are very, those are very manly brows. Those are Obscurus 16. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I've been using Twisted Cat brows a lot. They're really nice. They're more Maxis match. Ooh, okay. Let's work with these. Let's find him some hair. Maybe I'll change it later. I'm not sure yet. Ooh, that's a nice hair. Oh my God, so handsome. This is a very teenage boy hair, I think. So that's an option. This was the hair he had when he was a kid. Hmm, I like that one too. It's like pushed back. There's this one, this one. Ooh, shoot. I don't know, they all look so good. We can give him the, the long dreads. Or long braids. Whoa. Where'd this hair come from? It's base game. Okay, that hair looks exactly like the other one. D Sims. Hold on a second. We have to compare these two because they're so similar. This is in the base game by D Sims. And then we have these braids by Johnny Sims. Oh, wow. We have this hair from Life, Life and Death, excuse me. I think it's really cool. I'm kind of digging it. We also have this hair from Sims Trouble. We've got this one from Sims Trouble as well. Honestly, I think I like the hair from Life and Death the best. It's just really freaking cool. It's just different than any hair that I have. Let's give him some, some moles here. 
and then I'll dress him and then we'll like do jewelry <clears throat> and accessories after. I think it worn sleepwear. I really like the hairs that came with Life and Death. I think they're so good, especially that black and white half and half one. Mwah! Bellissimo. Look at this shirt. It has a heart on it and like two skeletons kissing on the back. That's pretty cool. That's from a Love Struck pack. Ooh, I really like this shirt. That's sick. This swatch with, let's see. I kind of want him to have like a really like, like trendy kind of high fashion style. That looks pretty cool actually. Hmm. Do you guys see the vision or am I just like completely crazy? Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah, he looks like like a snowboarder or a skater or something. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> he definitely needs jewelry as well. Let's see here. Like a chain. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, like this. That looks pretty good. In gold or silver? Probably silver. And then earrings like those or even the double and the single. Okay, I think I like the double and the single. Oh my gosh. Eyeliner or nah? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, he's so cool. He's so freaking cool. Oh my God, oh my God. He reminds me of, there's this one guy on TikTok who makes these extremely like artistic fashion videos. I forget his name, but he does things like uh, an outfit for every country, an outfit for every like the character in a show. And it's very well edited and well shot and extremely creative. He also does like, can I make an outfit more like more than a hundred thousand dollars or something like that? Or I don't know. He wears a lot of chrome hearts. If you guys know who I'm talking about, let me know in the comments, but he reminds me of that guy. Um, but I'm really digging the eyeliner on him a lot. He's so cool. Too cool even. Ugh, I love him so much. Okay. Formal. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he can just be like really into clothes and stuff. We haven't really had a guy in Legacy that like cared a lot about their clothes and their fashion and stuff. It's usually just the girls who care. All right, let's find you something to wear for formal now. Um, I'm not gonna give him just a regular old suit like I always do. We gotta give him something a little more elevated. Gosh, the stuff from Life and Death. It's just too good. I love it all. Uh, except for this. I don't really know what that is. Is that like a ghost outfit? Um, Maybe for his formal, we should do like a two piece instead <gasps> is this a velvet suit it looks velvet to me oh my god that's beautiful Ooh, indeed Ooh. okay yeah we have to do that that's really nice and since the pants are a little high let's give him some big boots yeah those i kind of want to give him some rings but i think it might interfere with his lashes let me see it does a bummer all right uh, holy cannoli what is this outfit <laughs> okay this is his athletic wear dude these heart pants oh my god we got to use those not for athletic wear but for something else those are so dope okay i'm gonna give him these yeah these shorts with ooh, that's cool i haven't used any of this stuff i haven't even seen it oh <gasps> that's sick Woosteroo for the win. Oh my god, these tops. These tops are amazing. I think I'll do that for cold weather. Dang, I don't know. Okay, let's do... Okay, let's do this for shoes. What are those? Oh, those are cool. They look comfy. What are these? What are those? These are very hype beast. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, sleepwear. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her betty friend. Speaking of Ice Spice, for those of you that play Fortnite, how are you liking the new season? <laughs> the new chapter. I am obsessed. It is, uh, it's too good. It's too freaking good. I've been loving it. I don't even know. What do guys wear to sleep? I guess a tank top with some comfy bottoms. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, party wear. Time for some fun for a fun outfit. Let me go back to those Wooster-Roo tops. Oh my god, look at all of these. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. Let me take off the party filter and see if more pop up. Oh my god, 
the zip up one that's tight there's this jacket Ooh. oh my god oh my god this stuff is really cool it's so different from anything that i have got some corsets for guys Ooh, that's nice this open one. Oh, I'm feeling so inspired by these clothes. Okay, I kind of want to do this with an accessory shirt underneath. That looks kind of cool. We could do a turtleneck. Ooh, ooh, floral. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So many pants as well. Woosteroo, this is a really good CC creator for, for guy CC, if you're interested. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for those pants. And what shoes? Jordans? Pink and black? We're gonna need longer pants if we do those. Oh, I think the shirt and these pants are meant to go together. They have the same, they're made of the same material. This outfit's pretty wild, I'm not gonna lie. I like it though. Let's go pink socks. I'm wondering if I should change the undershirt color. What about that black floral one? Hmm. I don't know. It looks good with nothing underneath, but I don't know. Is that is that kind of pushing it? Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. I think this is what I'm gonna go for. It's pretty cool. And then swimwear. Ooh, wow. Okay, let's just do those. Hot weather, a lot of nonsense here. It keeps wanting to give him a nose piercing. Maybe I can do the open shirt for hot weather. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's a heart cut out. <gasps> That's actually so dope. But yeah, let's do this open one with shorts. And I just want to give him boots for every outfit. Okay, I'm just going to do Vans. Do I have any cool sunglasses? Dang, look at those. Sheesh. <laughs> okay. Hot weather. I mean, cold weather, my bad. Um, I'm definitely gonna give him that jacket. Oh man, head to toe in Woosteroo. This one, I think, yes. Or do I wanna do this one? I'll give him two. I'll do, give him two cold weather outfits cause they're so good. Yeah, let's do these cargos and then these massive boots or these massive boots. Um, those ones seem to fill in the pant leg better. I love that you can still see the chain too. That's really nice. Oh my God, the glasses. Oh, if it wasn't clipping, that would look so dope. But I think I'm just gonna give him, let's see, which beanie? Yeah, let's do this one. Should we do black, white? Wait, orange is kind of cool. He kind of looks like a traffic cone, but I'm kind of digging it. Okay, uh, let's give him one more cold weather outfit because I do want to use this other jacket. This one. I think I want to do these Trillax shoes, maybe. If I do these, I want to change the pants. No, let's do those. That looks pretty good. I think? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, let's have a look at all of his fits. Should we give him one more every day? I have like so much male CC and not even male CC, just like there's so much more guy stuff that has come out, like in the new packs and stuff that I really like. Dang, this tank. This tank top's pretty cool. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, where are those? Heart pants. I know, I almost forgot. Aha, those are pretty dope. Yeah, let's do the heart pants with just this uh, this simple brown sweater. That's really dope, I love it. And then for shoes, yeah, we'll probably just do plain black. All right, yep, looks good to me. Okay, so here's his first outfit. Here's his second. Here's his formal wear, athletic, sleepwear. Party wear, swim, hot weather. <laughs> I think this is my favorite. And cold weather number one, cold weather number two. So, so dope. Okay, now we've got Romeo. Let's have a look at you. <gasps> no way. He's got blue eyes. Does Mario have blue eyes? Oh no, she has pink eyes. I totally forgot. I need to take her ring off. It is glitching with her lashes and it's bothering me. Okay, uh, we don't really have that many options for hair. I actually really like this hair. I think it looks cute on him. So I'll probably just keep it. Let me just change the brows and give him a skin detail. Wow, he's like really, he's a unique looking toddler. That's a rarity. A lot of my toddlers always just look the same, but all right, lashes, skin detail. 
Perfect. He, oh my god, life and death has new stuff. I didn't even know. Oh my god. This little ghost onesie is so cute. Oh my gosh. Or it's like a two-piece set. Oh, there's even plain swatches. I love it. He's really young, so I think I'm just gonna like put him in some kind of like little onesie like this. Oh, cute. PJs. Oh. Yeah, let's do this one. It matches his eyes. Formal wear, I doubt we'll ever see it. Sleep, definitely one of these. Ooh, sharks? Yes, he looks so happy. Party wear, I doubt we'll ever see this, but let's just put that on. Ah, no, 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 no. Hot weather, I like the pink shirt. And the pink diapy? No, let's just do pink shorts. Yes cold weather. Honestly, toddlers are not that, like, exciting to dress. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's because I don't have that much CC, but... All right, cutie pie, you're all done. Let me get a picture. Eros, you too. What a handsome lad. I'm so excited. Please let me know what you guys think of the makeovers. I know that Eros's isn't gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but uh, I'm really excited about it. Okay, next order of business is making or building their rooms. I'm not gonna go like super ham right now. I'll probably just do the base and then decorate it later off camera. But they both definitely need a place to sleep. So gosh, Max, Maxter, why do I keep saying it like that? Master mixologist with dance machine. What life path do you take with traits like that? Other than just spending your time partying and drinking. I don't know. All right, let's see here. Oh. Our boy, he's no longer a kid. Crazy. I'm just gonna delete everything and start over. Oh right, this is gonna be the nursery. Okay. What the heck is this? Discount coupon? Why is it on the floor? Okay, like I said, his bedroom's gonna be over here. Let's put these in the house somewhere. We're in their bedroom? There isn't really space. Ah, oh, here we go. Right here. Oh, how sweet is that? I love it. We're definitely gonna have to build some walls in here, like section off like a bathroom area. Okay, let's do the nursery first. So we shall do... I'm thinking red, right? It's just like so like typical and cliche for a kid named Romeo, but what the heck? What happened to all of our money? Why do we only have a million dollars? Have I really been spending that much money? Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna look at all of the stuff from the nursery kit because I haven't properly looked at all of that stuff. Storybook nursery. Okay, so we need a crib. This, oh, okay, so it's all very, it's very like bougie. Like, look at this bassinet. Holy crap. It's giving like vampire vibes. And none of the swatches really work for what I'm going for here. Oh, well. Definitely want that in there though. This thingy is pretty cute. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of the of the swatches like at all. So we have that crib. We can do this one. This is the one I always use. Comes in loads of swatches. I think I like that one better. Is it weird to have the crib in the middle of the room? I never do that, but let's do it. Why not? We can put the changing table by the door over here. Or by the window, I mean. We have this new play mat. I don't know if I like it. Okay, this is what I've got so far. We've got a little storage thingy for his clothes, some like baby like lotions and changing things. We have a chair, we'll put this possum. Is that a possum? Oh my God, cute. Look at all the different ones. Oh my God, the sloth, that's freaking adorable. I think I might wanna see here. Change the wallpaper in here. Mm, maybe not actually. Ooh, look at this wallpaper. Mm, that's actually really pretty. I like it. Got a couple of toys. What else do we need in an infant's bedroom? They don't really do much. Let's get a toy box. This is very interesting. Mm, I think that's pretty good. For, oh, 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 let's get a lamp, a standing lamp. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then over here, I'm just gonna put a bed in here for now, uh, just to give him a place to sleep. And then I will, I'll decorate it off camera. 
I think his room needs to be really, really cool. Well, actually, his house. <laughs> he has an entire house to himself now. Man, I would have killed for that as a teenager. Seriously, that would have been so sick. Okay, and then these windows. All right, yeah, so let's give him a pretty decent sized bathroom. Move these windows over. Hmm, maybe this one should be over here so that people out here can't just like look through the window and watch him using the bathroom. <laughs> And then let's paint these walls, put a door, what door was I using in here? Oh yeah. I'll probably end up changing the wallpaper and the floor later. Should we have his bed be there? So he's got like room for activities and like a couch and stuff and a computer. I think that would be pretty dope. We can have like a whole hangout in here. We'll make him like a sectional. I don't know what color I want to do, but... Let's see. I love these. Ooh, a projector. That'd be kind of cool to have. Dang, I wish these swatches weren't so like kitty. You know what I mean? That could work. It takes up a lot of space, but it's very bachelor pad. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I could find a better like CC projector online, but I could just put that one for now. I mean, I don't hate it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna mess around a little more with this room off camera, I think, but it's looking pretty cool so far. I think I really like the green sofas a lot. We definitely need a table in here. The one with the books is pretty neat. Also do this one. I love this coffee table so much. It's really cool. Looks like a hand-me-down table. I wanna put this somewhere. I just don't know where. Maybe just right there. Oh, that looks sick. Ooh, I'm so excited to decorate this room. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, okay. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to finish decorating this off camera, make the bathroom and all that good stuff. And I think I'm gonna uh, wrap up this episode. I've been filming for quite some time. Being a cast just takes up a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, sorry we didn't really get into a lot of gameplay in this one. We just had like a lot of like housekeeping kind of stuff to do, aging up, doing some building, having a whole baby. Who am I kidding? We've done a lot today. But um, I hope you guys are excited for Romeo to grow up and I hope you guys are excited for Eris' teen form. I cannot wait to see what he gets up to in his life. It's gonna be really fun. Um, I just have a good feeling about this generation. I actually have a good feeling about every generation to be honest, but <laughs> I'm just excited. So as always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for being here. I'm sorry that I was gone for so long. I appreciate the understanding and the love, but yes, I love you. Leave me comments and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.